Hello everyone, welcome to Minute Meta, I am your host Dar Tebler, and today we're going to be going over the best brightness and color settings for console and PC on Warzone 2. Now the reason why you want to do this is one, it actually helps where you can see people more, it makes them pop off the background a little bit more, but it also makes it where the game is just not as bland and gray and makes it more fun. So the first thing that we want to change is brightness. Now console people, I need to talk to you for a second because I actually can't show you this. I've talked to some of my friends and some of my IRLs who play on console, they actually and you actually do not have this setting inside of game like you do not have this brightness setting that I'm showing you the way that you have to do it is you have to go inside of your console settings themselves and turn the brightness up a little bit so the same thing that I'm about to tell the PC players also applies to you you just can't do this in game you have to do this inside of your console settings themselves so it's gonna be some sort of like basic setting where it's going to say something like barely visible, not visible, and easily visible. What you want to do, so as you can see here, the base is 50, and it is actually barely visible. You want it a little bit more than barely visible, whether you're doing this on PC or console inside of your console settings. So we go up to, I go up to 55 is where I like it to be. Most people on PC, that's where you're going to be. It kind of depends on your monitor settings. For your console people, I'm not 100% sure, even if you're on Xbox or PlayStation, what it needs to be. You just want it to be a little bit brighter than barely visible. That way it helps you in darker spots of this game. Now, the second thing we want to do is we want to go to interface and we want to go to color customization. This is where you're actually going to make it where your game looks a whole lot better and makes people pop. Console players, this is fantastic for you because it actually gives you the ability to edit some of these things. With PC players, Instead of using NVIDIA filters, I suggest using this because NVIDIA filters will hurt you somewhere between 10 and 20% inside of frames. And even though this is not quite as good as NVIDIA filters, the frames that you lose, I think, offset the NVIDIA filters. That's why I suggest doing this. So the first thing that you want to do is go to color filter and change it to filter number two. You want to take this right here and turn it up to 100 and this right here and turn it up to 100. Some people like dialing this back to around 80. Me, personally, I like it to go to 100. Hundred, test it for yourself. I suggest doing a hundred. The second thing that you want to do is you want to go to your HUD color palette and you want to change it to Tri Tantanopia. I'm sorry for the colorblind community if I'm saying that wrong, but that's how I think it's supposed to be pronounced. I don't know, but you want to change it to this setting right here. You want to make sure you are yellow, your team is blue, your party is green, and then I actually suggest changing your enemy from red to pink because this makes it to where you the enemy pops off even more versus red there's actually some red in this map and so if there's someone standing in front of it you're adsing and then the bulb above their head is red you may not even realize that it's an enemy there's not really a lot of pink plus it happens where if you are going across and your crosshair happens to cross them you're going to see that pink flash and be able to shoot them even more even though there's not a lot of that happening inside of warzone especially at distances there it still gives you the ability that you might get that slight advantage if you've made it this far make sure you drop a like and comment what your favorite gun is currently in the game thank you so much for watching make sure you also subscribe we're going to be doing different tips and tricks like this we're also going to be going over different strategies the best guns the best ground lit weapons we're going to be all kinds of things with warzone 2 and a little bit of modern warfare 2 especially as the cdl is getting rolling out so make sure y'all drop a sub so y'all can find your way back thank you so much for watching y'all slay out and aim for greatness